What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am in Bridgeport, PA with Rich from Limitless Auto Works. Today we are working on my truck. I've gotten a lot of questions about hooking up the upfitter switches on these new 2020s and we're going to show you guys where that's at and getting to the wiring to do so. So right here on the passenger side of the truck we have this little relay box cover. What we're going to do is uh, I have some accessories that I'm going to show you guys that uh, we're going to hook up to aux switches 5 and 6, preferably 6, but 5 and 6 are going to change from being hot with the key on to being hot all the time. So we're going to open up this box here and we're going to pull this little 5 amp fuse out right here on the side and once we pull it out, its little cavity is going to actually allow us to switch from being hot with the key on to now hot all the time. So once you do that, if you want to do that, um, Rich has got these two tabs that we can pull up and getting to the wires are a little more easier once you get this pulled up than going through the wheel well. Get all this fancy tape off. At least they left us a good amount of, amount of pigtail. There's actually a little tag on it that tells us what wire is going to what switch. 20 amp positive, PTO, PTO, ignition, one, five, six, two, four, three, and four. So there's your colors and pigtails. I know from experience this is number six. Number six and number five are 40 amp. So this is number six, this is number five. We're gonna be working with this one. Yeah, we're just feeding the wires down here into the wheel well <clears throat> because that's gonna match up with our, we got some harnesses ran from the driver side and to the passenger side. They are piggybacked in. I'll show you kind of what they look like. Oh, that's the only one we got left. The rest of them are in. Yeah. Um, so all the harnesses that are plugging in uh, essentially look like this. That plugs into the main body harness, and then that plugs into whatever headlight or uh, bumper harness we're connecting to. An example of the rear tail light. So that would plug into our body harness, and then this would plug into our tail light. And you can see these wires are going from side to side. It's just a pass through. And then these are going to be going to our actual circuits to flash said lights. Just to recap really quick. These aux switches wiring are located, the fuses are located under here. And when you pull those two tabs up to get the box up, it'll allow you to get access to untape all of these wires that Ford has left for us. And I didn't know that these are actually some pass-through wires. There's a blunt ended right here and underneath the dash right through on the passenger side, it's the same thing. These wires are dead ended too. So if you ever have to go through the firewall, Ford actually left us four circuits that we can hook up from for something out here and to go to the inside. So note to self, go right here on your passenger wheel well and you can get to these wires here. So. What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at home and I've had a lot of inquiries and questions about how do you hook up your upfitter switch wiring so that you can install a resistor to raise your idle. I got some stuff tore apart and we're going to get into it. So why don't you guys get comfy, grab something to drink, maybe a snack, and let's get your super duty to high idle. Alright guys, let's go. Hope everybody's doing well today on this Saturday. Working on nothing but the best. Um, I just want to start today with uh, everybody opening their right front door. And we're going for this harness down here in the kick panel. We need to take off this little door right here. This comes off so you can access your fuses. And then if your truck was equipped, you're going to see 
a harness here that has a bunch of deadheaded wires and stuff that says PTO. So why don't you go ahead and remove this. We're gonna take this to the bench and we're going to hook up the said wires for the PTO and then we are gonna hook it to the upfitter switch. So you guys might have some questions like, well, which ones do you hook together? We're gonna to show you right meow. Once you get this harness out, you are gonna to wanna to locate on my pinky, the brown with white, right by my thumb. You're gonna to wanna to locate the yellow with green, yellow with green, right by my thumb. And then lastly, you're gonna to wanna to get just the green right by my thumb. So what we're gonna do is, oops, we just dropped some wire. We are gonna take, I'm gonna put a chart up right now. This chart is going to allow you guys to see the resistance size for your specified RPM. So what we got right here is a 22K ohm resistor. Uh, I am going to put a link or a description uh, where to get these. I've had this for probably like 10 years. I bought a pack of five of them and uh, a 6.4 owner wanted me to do this a long time ago. So I just never used the rest. And now I got a duty and I'm gonna do mine. So we are going to splice in this resistor between these two wires right here, the green and the white and brown. We're gonna splice those two together with the resistor in between. And then, uh, well, let's do this and I'll get to the next step so you guys don't get confused. All right, once you get the resistor wired in, then we're gonna look like this. Something like this. Just so that we don't have that resistor just hanging down there, try to make it look somewhat factory. All right, so the next step is your yellow wire. And your yellow wire is being labeled, uh, I mean yellow with green, PTO1. So we are gonna go back to the truck. Let's check this out. Ford has been very kind to leave us some wiring underneath the dash that is very difficult to get to and how you guys are gonna to get to this is, well, if I did it, I know you guys can. So if you guys look way up there, you're gonna see a bunch of colored wires. Those wires are pass-through wires that are dead-ended in here so that we can hook up this kind of stuff. So if you guys come out underneath the fender liner, those same wires are, oops, are right here. You can see all four of these wires. So I have tapped into the white with the orange. That is going to go to our upfitter switches. And I have located switch number one. This has a sticker on it corresponding what wire goes to what switch. So anybody who has upfitter wiring is gonna have that sticker so you guys can see which one's going to one. So I am going to hook those up. I didn't have any other color wire. I'm gonna put uh, you know, convolute over this. And um, we're gonna mock it up and see if everything is working just like, uh, just like I want it. So back under the dash, whatever you guys gotta do, whatever you guys gotta do to hook up wires, I am not gonna be able to get uh, a piece of heat shrink up there. I mean, I guess I could. Um, let me see if I can. Heck yeah, I did. Check it out. It was tight, but I got it in there. All right, so we are gonna want to hook that yellow with green wire up to, up to whatever wire you're gonna hook your uh, pass-through wire too, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So let's get that hooked up and then we're going to plug the connector in and we're going to see if this boy works. All right, when you're done, you should have something neatly looking like this. I know RB Jr. 
would be totally digging that. I think I did a nice job. Put a little piece of convolute going up, up to the uh, wire going through the firewall. But uh, after you're done, go ahead and line your your slits up and go ahead and close your little door. So now let's check and see. Uh, I believe the parking brake is going to have to be on, but uh, let's check out our stationary elevated idle control, shall we? Okay, so one thing we're going to have to do is hook up our last wire. Let's, uh, let's, let's loosely mock this up. Okay, we're loosely mocked up. Just got them pushed together. Keys in the truck. Hood up, shouldn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. I got parking brake on. Watch the RPM. Switch one. Here goes our RPM. Right where I said it was gonna be. All right, you guys, tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. If anybody's ever had to do a secondary elevated idle control, on their 6.7 power stroke. Drop me a like, tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Uh, if anybody's had any issues, let me know if I can help you. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, sub, share. See you next time. See ya.